Coachman Apex 249RBS rear bathroom slide out couples camping ultralight machine here at Haywood RV of Goldwater, Michigan. 4,960 pounds. Some optional equipment present in this video. For instance, this has Elite and Summit packages and a bunch of things like the nose cap is part of one of those upgrade bundles. Not standard stuff. Uh, if at any point you uh, YouTube folks at home are kind of curious to know how she's equipped and what she's running, I leave you a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. That'll show you the one that we have in stock uh, and uh, how it's equipped and what we're asking with the current discount and uh, you know, volume package discount levels. Uh, you're going to see a lot of very fine, smart detail stuff like at, on, at face value on the surface, you, you look at a lot of the, the Coachman lightweights and you say, well, every brand does that. Mm, not the fine detail stuff if you start looking in. Of course, it would help if I actually turned my battery box on so we could see some of those fine details. That'll help right there. Shoot my own self in the foot half the time. Um, so uh, let's get dug in here. I, you, you saw me open the, and, and latch back the magnetically latched one hand operated baggage doors. What you may not notice, again, if you just glance at surface value, thicker automotive bulb seals. We've got a fully finished baggage compartment with wider 30 inch uh, baggage doors. We've got metallic slam latch uh, baggage handles here instead of plastic ones that can get a little cold and, and brittle in, uh, you know, after uh, a couple seasons of use. Um, We've got, uh, it's, I'm on the shady side of the trail, it's a little tough to see, but uh, this gorgeous neon blue accent lights in the full nose cap. You see matching lights under the awning and built into the outside speakers. This thing glows at night. It is absolutely awesome looking. You will watch people walking through the campsite stop, look at your RV and go, what is that? It just looks cool. Now, they've done some very minor color selection touch updates from last year and I, I don't know what it is but I swear their graphics look three-dimensional it looks like it's being projected off the nose of the trailer a uh, super cool contrast package going on now this does have an enclosed underbelly with forced air heating this is a fully laminated product we've got laminated floor walls roof rear wall all aluminum frame to stay lightweight, to stay structurally strong uh, for the uh, the long haul of things. I like how they put the outside shower right on the face of the slide out on this one. It just makes it easy to get to, very functional. Notice the little color contrast, the accent rear wall work they have going there. And it never, this thing never feels flat. It always looks like it's moving even when it's sitting still. And it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm biased. I feel like it's blowing by the competition, as it were. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, dual entry doors here, something I like about that is this is a low profile trailer. It sits a little low, so it's easy to get in and out. Now, something this RV has that very few other travel trailers have, in a non-bunkhouse anyway, is a direct entry bathroom door. Usually, only bunkhouse campers have that. Now, what's cool is if you notice, you've got a sliding pocket door right here. You can enclose just the toilet side of the bathroom without interfering with the shower and sink side over there. So you maintain greater use of this floor plan at all times. Now, conversely, if you're in the shower, you can pull that privacy door shut. People can still, in one way or another, get around to the bathroom. So there's always like full function of this RV. And you may have noticed that entry door is strutted, so it stops and doesn't fling open in the wind and smack against the awning or the sidewall and Nobody has to worry about things getting broken or damaged as a result. Now, there's uh, there's that LED lighting under the awning I was talking about, and I apparently uh, left the uh, outside porch lights off. Where are they at here? Curbside. There we go. So there's LED lights even built right into the speakers here. Now, during the day, they don't seem terribly impressive. I'm telling you, at night, especially when you roll this awning out because it's white on the underside, the whole thing just glows over here. It is fantastic. Um, the uh, Usually at our dealership, when you see the nose cap, we're going to go straight to the frameless windows as well because we're figuring you're looking for that full cosmetic bundle, so the frameless windows are another option. There's advantages both ways. The cool part about these frameless windows is, one, they tilt open in a jowlessy fashion so that you can use them in, when it's kind of rainy, and two, the seals are hidden under a UV tinted window pane, so the seals are kind of protected automatically. And we have TV hookups right here under the awning, right where, bam, you're going to park your picnic table, right where they belong. Let's step inside for you. Oh, ho, whoa, 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 back up. 
as Dell. I cannot believe I almost forgot to talk about that. It's one of the biggest, coolest things on the Coachman Lightweights. You can actually see it right here in the door jam. There we go, camera. Right below the fiberglass skin. As Dell, instead of Luan in the wall panel, it's the it's the layer below the fiberglass that is actually bonded to the aluminum framework. It is lighter. It has better R values. This inch and a half ultralight wall has two inch um, effective insulation qualities as a result. I cannot rot mold mildew because um, it's not wood. It's not a water starved material to water repellent material. It's not impossible for this uh, sidewall to fail. It's that you have to go way out of your way to cause a problem with it. Now, there are different interior decors. I'm, I, I want to call this one Espresso for some reason. That, that name jumps out of me. I could be wrong. It doesn't matter. The one that we have in stock could look different from this. But they all look good. Um, they've gone with a really cool uh, light, dark, contrasting uh, interior decor here. And it makes it look and feel nice and big. We've got all LED lights. We've got ducted air um, with, uh, you know, nice... Uh, laminated roofing and everything like I said you can walk all over the roof that's gonna be fine no problem there so this is your super slide and they went with a classic kitchen or galley as they call it in the marine and RV industry galley and sofa slide out the reason they do this is they can actually make this a little bit more of a shallow slide while still giving you a nice big walk through space even with all that kitchen storage wide open you can get through here, no problem. You don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle around one another. So that is a weight saving item they're able to put into this. That's how they keep this thing under 5,000 pounds, even with the uh, added weight of that nose cap. Our cabinetry is all screwed together, not stapled, not glued, so it's gonna hold up and last longer. Um, Tabletop, countertop, in the bathroom, doesn't matter where. They're all thermal foil sealed membrane countertops. Um, and uh, what that means is that it's waterproof. So if you spill something, you splash water. If your drink over here condensates and a bead of sweat rolls off of it, who cares? Take a towel and dry it up. It's not going to damage your countertop. Um, you know, for a small camper, it has pretty big storage. You've got a very generously sized pantry going on over here and that's the thing a lot of people look at the kitchen and they they look at just this part and they say well it's not real big mm, your kitchen actually continues over here that's it's actually got as much kitchen as it has living space maybe more um you've got good overhead storage space you see we have uh, a lot of lightweights i've noticed don't have drawers they'll for some reason they just try to cut that corner and save the cost maybe i'm not sure but Everything in this RV was custom tailored to people who actually go camping. And the, the best testament to that is the people that design this and the people that represent this product at the factory, they're all campers. Everybody at Apex goes camping. And I think that's the smartest thing about these and that's why they're so effective. I like that we actually have good usable prep space right here, right above all those drawers. Let me go ahead and close this. By the way, those are plywood drawers, not particle board with a sticker wrap. Um, we also have a stone cast sink. So if you start pumping a ton of hot water in this thing, or if we're boiling water over here, you can pour it in that sink and it's not going to melt and warp and cause problems. Um, the uh, sink cover gives you a little more prep space. One of the upgrade bundles we have in here gives you the little bit nicer hardware. And there are appliance outlets up here so that you can have appliances down there with more outlets over there. Um, stainless appliance bundles, a nice breakup to your sink. Man, everybody has gone to stainless appliances this year. That's just become a thing, I swear. Um, cruising back here to the uh, rear bath, remember, we have a uh, partitioned bathroom with that foot flush stool right there and direct entry door, which, by the way, if you're sitting here and you're a shy person, pull the deadbolt lock and congratulations, now nobody can peek in at you. Not that I would blame you for that. So something that's cool is we also have a handy little closet right here, right when you uh, walk in this door. So it's easy to get to that storage. Um, and like if you just wanna hop in and grab a jacket or you just wanna overflow um, storage space in the kitchen, you can do that too. Or kitchen, in the bathroom. I'm, I'm thinking what else is in the kitchen that I missed. That is a that is a big countertop. It just kinda keyed into that. There's a lot of open space in that. Corner shower and a uh, dedicated linen cabinet space in here so they just didn't really waste anything. They've done a good job. And you have both a power vent fan and that skylight up here. Holy cow, that is a thick interior wall. That is probably one of the structure reasons why we don't have problems with these apexes because they're structurally supported from the inside and outside instead of just the shell. Um, in uh, your apex models with a sofa, they include this really cool uh, fleece throw blanket. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but instead of stupid little pillows that nobody ever seems to use and they just end up throwing away, 
they give you something you can actually use, and that's what I like about these. Again, they're not just made by a marketing team, they're made by people that go camping. That TV does spin around to face the bedroom, so you do have access to it in that regard. And I love this giant viewing window that we have right under the power awning over here, so you can see right out at your campsite. Um, the uh, dinette storage over here, it is easy to get to with that little door. And by the way, this is a completely carpetless floor plan. So super easy to clean, no carpet, no no hiccups or problems there. And they're very good about their charging centers so that everybody can bring along their little phones and have a place to charge them. Mom and dad are going to enjoy a nice sliding pocket privacy door up here. And speaking of USB charging, uh, in that uh, uh, nose cap, uh, because it is, uh, they have room inside that cap to work, you'll get a recessed headboard. Models without the nose cap will lack this feature. Um, You've got uh, power outlets against the bed base down here, so you do have a place to plug in like breathing machines and whatnot. And I like how they angle the bedroom uh, hanging wardrobes in a little bit because it directs more light into the room and it makes the room appear and feel a little bit brighter and bigger and nicer. And again, of course, we can just spin that TV around to face you. This is, I th well... I think of the full-blown 8-foot wide uh, Apex series, I think this is actually our most popular couples model for good reason. It's it's at the right weight, right money, the construction's dead on where it needs to be, and uh, it, it just has so many user-friendly, end-user-friendly features. Um, so, you know, hitching pieces, parts, financing, whatever you need, we do trades, welcome trades of any shape, age, type, size here. Um, we have trucks, like I said, for package deals. If I don't care where you live, they're on wheels, we can deliver it. We can give you a quote with or without. Uh, we don't lose deals because of money, basically. Here we put deals together and we get folks camping and, and uh, give us the opportunity. We're going to earn your business here at our store. So 800-256-5196. Hey, Lit RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.